Pixelation is a fancy name for animating people one frame at a time to make them look like they can do the impossible. Watched slowly, it's just a bunch of still pictures. Sped up, it's an ultimate animation magic trick. You could animate your best friend walking without moving their legs, or levitating, or driving a chair, or whatever you can imagine. And it's as fun to make as it is to watch. James McKay and I are currently working on our own animated production of A Christmas Carol for viewing around the world from Lawrence Badley Theatre later this year. So this was an opportunity for our daughters Lottie and Mia to make their own film and show you how it's done. In this workshop, Lottie and Mia will teach you how to make your own pixelation film from idea to animation to creating a soundtrack. <laughs> And now I'm going to use my digital SLR, but you could use a camera on a tablet, a smartphone, ideally with an animation app, and a tripod will also really help, but this is not about the equipment. It's about being inventive and creative with whatever you have to hand. So sit back, watch it, and go and make your own movie, and have fun. To make a film, we first need a story to tell. It's a good idea to draw your ideas out before filming them, just like a comic strip. Don't worry about the drawing, this is all about working out how best to tell your story. It will save you time and make your film better. This is how we make TV series and films, and it's one of my favourite jobs. Our story is about a scooter with a mind of its own. We'll talk more about how we came up with the idea later, but for now, let's move on and get filming. All right, so it's time to film. So we got our storyboard and we got our camera. And for the camera today, I'm going to use a digital SLR. It's on a tripod to keep it really steady. When you make an animation, it's great if you've got two friends to do it. One can be the camera person and the director. The other person could be the star. But it's nice to switch it about two, which is what we're going to do now. So Lottie, come over here. You are going to come over to the scooter. Let's have the scooter this way around. Just pick it up and... Zoom off, so you say action to begin with and cut when she's out of shot. So shout, ready, on your marks. Action. You say, cut. cut. Mia, it's time for your grand entrance. You are gonna come along and you're gonna walk up to it and you're going to expect to just follow Lottie, right, to get on the scooter and go off. But that's not going to happen because a scooter is going to whoomph, go off by yourself like that. You can be like, uh. Now that's a magic trick and that's all we need to do with animation. So we're going to start your bit in live action, filming you walking, and then you're going to pause and then we're going to, I'm going to step in and slowly move this scooter a little bit at a time. And that will be a fanta fantastic movie magic special effect. Camera recording and Mia, action! Perfect! Hold it right there. We don't want to touch the camera, but I'm going to do this as gently as I can because I need to take it to still frame mode. The worst thing about touching the camera is having a little camera shake. So this little shooter means that I can just press this button here and it's not going to move the camera at all. Right, and now I'm going to step in and I'm going to be really trying to move this. And uh, you're going to carry on moving forward and shoot. And then I'm going to move this whoop forward and you're going to ride like that and keep still and take a picture. With the scooter animation finished, it's time to switch back to live action mode for Mia's reaction. You're going to go and run over to the out of, out of screen. On your marks, get set, big. Absolutely perfect, love it. Shot one complete. Now we've got a few close-ups on here, but it's easier to film out of order and to do our close-ups separately. Now close-ups are a great addition to any film because they show the audience what you want them to see and nothing else. Right now we want to see what Mia's reaction is to her moving scooter. 
After she's given the scooter a good look, we place a camera where she was standing so we can see the scooter through her eyes. Then back on Mia for her determined look, and then back onto a wide shot to see her sneak over to the scooter. So, here's film. It's all edited together. Doesn't have any sound effects on at the moment though. Uh, so should we have a look and see what it looks like? Yeah. No. All right. So me. What are you explaining it slightly then? But never mind. At least you got into it later. Doink. Doink. <laughs> Doink. I love your runoff. <laughs> Planned well, the transitions from the live action to the animation blend seamlessly. <laughs> We sped up some of the live action to make it feel more animated. <laughs> we achieved these blurred runs by using a long exposure on the stills camera <laughs> as they slowly ran past, which sped up, made for a supersonic run. You can see how close-ups <laughs> really help show the audience just how the characters are thinking. Your expressions are much better in this. Yeah. You're, you're the best in this. You were born for comedy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yay. Well, there we go. Yay. Yay. Amazing. Well done, What's going to make yeah. this, like, really sing <laughs> is the sound, sound oh, effects. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what sound effects do you think we need for this? Um, Ah, all of your sounds that you make when you're sort of like, when you're feeling mad, right? Well, you can record that, that's easy, and we can put that on. What other types of sounds do we need? <laughs> brum brum, what, for the scooter? Brum, brum. <laughs> it's a cartoon, so you can have any type of sound you want. It doesn't have to be a realistic sound. What would that... <laughs> That's great. Should we write a list of what we need? Black. We've said we need a music, some musical sneaks and a dun, 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 race, dun, dun. a chase. When you get hit in the bottom, what would that sound like? Would that be a cymbal or would it be a boom? Yeah. All right. Or a boing. What? Yeah, like that. What? What? Boing. For what? When you get hit in the bottom. <laughs> Everything's a duck to you, isn't it? <laughs> duck, duck noises. I tell you what. <laughs> so we can create our own. The other thing we can use um, are some sound effect uh, sound effects libraries. When? So you can have a look through this, and then the ones you like, you can download. It's MP3s, alright? What you that one? Alright, so we found your boing. Press the space bar. <laughs> Good, huh? What do you think? Yay! Yay. No, not all of it. You've only done one sound effect. You both play piano. Yeah. No, I wonder I if yes, I I maybe do. you could come up with something on the piano yeah. for some little music. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do you got, girls? Um, we're doing a tune yeah. for the chase! The chase! Yeah. With the scooter! Yeah. Take yes. it away. Lottie, we've Hi. got this to final film. All of your sound effects are in here, the piano music's in here. Should we have a look? Yeah! yeah. Excited? Yeah! yeah. Alright. Gather around here. 
So well, you were so good at balancing that you wouldn't know that you did it. It's like it looks like a really great special effect. But you know how to do that now. Yep. So, do you think you would like to make another film? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me. Cool. Amazing. Well, I think you know you should, and you know how to do it. So, um, can't wait to see your next film. Yeah. Make a banana that that doesn't want to be eaten. And it walks away. <laughs> it grows go. legs. Watch out for the banana film coming to a cinema near you soon. It didn't always look like this, did it? And the first thing we did was to make us. Well, the first thing I did was to draw a storyboard for you. But you changed the story to make it your own. And this is a good way of planning a film, isn't it? To draw all of the basic ideas of the story. And from that we could discuss it. So we had suddenly the scooter moving and moving again. And then you ah and ran off. So that's exactly the same. We kept that. And then you scratched your head, you looked at the scooter, you got mad, you went off, that sneaked over very slowly, and it sped off, and then you ran after it. And then the scooter went the other way, you ran the other way, and the scooter went the other way, you ran the other way, backwards and forwards, and then you came in really tired and grumpy and sat down. Oomph. My idea was that the scooter would come in and you would offer it to, for you to get on it. But you were really mad with the scooter and didn't want to ride it, and the scooter would come around you and you would turn your back on it. And it went off. And then... It will come up behind you and sort of nudge you onto it. And which you thought was funny, made you giggle, and so you made friends and hugged it. Why did we do that bit? Is well, because you were being a rat bag. <laughs> <laughs> this was all about Mia. And, you, and when you saw how fun it was, Ooh. you wanted to be in it too, didn't you? A bit more. Yeah. So we had to think of a way that we could change the story a little bit to give you a bigger part. Which was really nice, and I really like how it turned out. Because this is kind of like a bit of a soppy ending. But your ending isn't soppy at all. Your ending is kind of like you both get really mad with the scooter. Scooter comes and hits you on the bottom, and you go off the chase. I love your new ending. You can come up with new ideas on the day. And if you come up with a better idea, then you go with that. Do you have fun doing this? Yay! <laughs> Success! Alright, well thank you so much for doing it and um, for showing all of all the children out of the Magic Festival how to make their own pixelation film. So, you both start... You don't have to do it with a pocket camera, you can do it with an iPad or phone. Absolutely right. So, <laughs> should we give them a thumbs up, a bit of a wave or a... a Signing off. All right, cool. Good luck. Don't Look forward to seeing your films.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.